What's up you guys and welcome to this relaxing all day clean with me. I hope you are ready for some extreme cleaning motivation because today we are tackling it all. We are washing our sheets, doing the dishes, folding laundry, scrubbing the stove, wiping everything down just to get ready for fall and so much more. We are packing it all in. So if you are ready and you love cleaning videos, then hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel and let's jump right into it. This wouldn't be a relaxing clean with me if we didn't start by lighting a fall scented candle. And today I chose the pumpkin apple scent from Bath and Body Works. And this has been a go-to scent of mine for so many years. First on the list is to tackle this kitchen island because I cannot stand this clutter any longer. But just hang tight because in a little bit I will be sharing everything that I ordered from Grove Collaborative. So I really quick wanted to share my Grove order with you guys because I had a few of you guys recommend or request to see everything that we picked up. Um, earlier this week I had shared over on Instagram that our Grove order finally came in. So I'm just gonna share it really quick. Um, I needed more dish soap and if you guys know I have the grapefruit scent and I love it but I wanted to try something else. Um, and I was talking to my friend Melanie here on YouTube and she has the, I think it's a citrus scent. I think she has the white bottle. Um, but she said she heard really great things about the yuzu scent. I think that's how you pronounce it. Y-U-Z-U. Get it to focus. There we go. Um, it smells really good. Really good. So I'm excited to try that out. And then I also needed some more dishwasher pods. I've never tried this before, but I figured I'd give it a go. I also ordered quite a few multi-purpose sprays. I actually ordered four of them. Um, and I gave some to my mom. So I ordered the apple cider scent. This is... I need to get this every single fall because it just smells so good. It's one of my favorites. So I ordered one for me and then one for my mom. And then I also ordered the mom scent and the acorn spice. And I let my mom decide which one she wanted to keep. So she took the mom scent, um, which I am fine with because this one smells so good and I go through a lot of it. I also needed to get, so in Minnesota, I cannot find paper towels anywhere. Um, we spent like a week and a half looking and nothing. All of our stores were sold out. So when I placed my Grove order, I saw that they had them in stock. So I ordered a two pack. I have never used them before, uh, but they had really good reviews and we needed them. But after I placed my Grove order, my mom found paper towels and toilet paper up north. So she purchased them and is bringing them to us. I also purchased, I just saw this and decided to last minute add it, but it is a sheet mask, organic Greek yogurt. Never tried it before, but I'm excited to. And then the last thing I picked up were these microfiber cleaning cloths. I already have a pack, maybe even two packs of these already, but I just love them so much. You get a blue, a gray, and then a mint. So that is everything I purchased. And then they also included a pack of the walnut scrubber sponges. I'm obsessed with these. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know I use them all the time to wash my dishes. And I'm very sorry if you guys can hear our dryer in the background. Um, but lastly, because I spent a certain amount, I got to pick a free item. And <laughs> out of the three items they let me choose from, this is the one that I thought I would use the most. It's a shampoo. <laughs> so that is everything that I picked up. So yeah, I'm really just going to go ahead and put all of this away and get back to the cleaning. I am also refilling our dishwasher container and I had noticed it was a little dirty so I decided to go ahead and wash it out before I put the new pods in here and when I opened up the bag of the new dishwasher pods I could instantly smell like the super fresh scent and I'm already obsessed. <laughs> like I said this will be my first time trying them so hopefully I do like them but if any of you guys have used this brand before let me know your thoughts down below in the comments.
Now we are gonna load up the dishwasher as much as we can so we can get that started. And while I was in the process of loading it up, I had noticed my Ray Dunn coffee mug that says Mrs. on it has a chip in it and I am so sad about it. Marshall has the matching cup, but it says Mr. And we use them all the time. So I'm really bummed out. And of course I like chipped it right where I would put my mouth to drink out of it. So that's unfortunate, but I'm gonna keep this mug just because it is somewhat small um, just until I can find another one or like a replacement. I'm gonna keep my eye out at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. I'm a good I'm very thankful that there were not too many dishes left to wash by hand, but I am hoping you will all be happy to see that I'm still filling my sink with hot soapy water to wash my dishes. If you guys missed my last video, I had mentioned that um, someone left a rude comment in one of my videos about the way that I wash my dishes and pretty much every single one of you were super quick to agree that you wash your dishes the exact same way by filling your sink with hot soapy water. I don't know, it's just the way I learned how to do it growing up and my entire family washes dishes this way. So I never thought anything of it, but I really appreciate you all so much for giving me your input down in the comments. I am so excited to finally scrub out my sink using my Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser. You guys know I love this stuff and I've used it for a very long time. Um, I have been just using my dish soap, which I also like to use. I just rotate between that and my cream cleanser. But now that I finally have all of my cleaning products here in the new apartment, I'm excited to really scrub this sink out. I am also using the same Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser to scrub off our glass stove top because it really needs to be done. I had asked you guys for recommendations on the best glass top cleaner and I think it was between this Mrs. Meyers cream cleanser and I wanna say like the Bars Keeper Friend brand or something. Um, but since I already had this on hand, I was excited to give it a try. I'm just gonna basically squirt some all over the stove, rub it in and then let it sit for about five to 10 minutes while I get some other stuff done. I just really quick want to remind you all to hit that red subscribe button right now because as you know, I post every single Saturday and Wednesday, but this next week I hope to have a bonus video coming out on Monday. And then on Wednesday, I will be sharing my 2020 fall clean and decorate with me. And I am so stinking excited to decorate this year. I have been staring at the bins of fall decor for weeks now, and I just cannot wait any longer. So this weekend I'm going to be pulling those out and decorating. If you guys missed my last year's fall clean and decorate with me, definitely go check it out. I will have it linked up here in the cards as well as down below in my description box. I did a really great job last year sharing where everything is from and the prices. Also, if you guys haven't checked out my fall decor haul from this year, everything new that I picked up, I will also have that linked in the cards up here as well as down below in the description box. And I promise they will get you all in the fall spirit and give you some great decorating ideas for this year. But now it's time to wipe off our stove. And like I mentioned, I just let the cream cleanser sit long enough to pretty much dry about like five to 10 minutes. And once that's wiped off, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with my multi-surface spray just to really make the glass shine. You guys have no idea how excited I am to start using my fall scented Mrs. Meyers sprays. I, to be honest, I really didn't need to buy any more, but 
I couldn't help myself every season. I swear I get sucked into buying the new seasonal scents and I just cannot help it, but it just really gets me in the fall spirit and I love the way it makes our home smell, but I'm really quick just going to wipe down the outside of our microwave and also the fridge doors and once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and then move on to our countertops. I know I've probably said this like a hundred times already, um, but I just love being able to grab my cordless vacuum instead of having to sweep. I honestly didn't mind sweeping, but now that I have a cordless vacuum, that's like super easy to literally, I just have to grab it and go. And I feel like it does a much better job at getting all of the crumbs up and it's also way more efficient. I can vacuum in like half the time it would take me to sweep. <laughs> but as you can imagine, there were a lot of crumbs underneath our counter stools because this is where we eat. So I really just wanted to pull the stools away, vacuum, and then I really did want to swiffer my floors, but that's something I like to do in the evenings as part of my like nighttime cleaning routine, just so that once I'm done swiffering, we're not walking all over it for the rest of the day. Now that the kitchen is finally all clean, we are heading into the living room just so I can fix this basket of blankets. It is such a mess. And I actually went and grabbed this other wicker basket from our bedroom. It just has like a few of my winter scarves in it. And we're gonna go ahead and take out a few of the blankets from this basket and just stack them in here for now anyways. Um, it's just way too crowded in the big one because it has all of our like gaming systems and extra controllers and cords. So again, we're just taking like three to four blankets out and I'm also gonna try to, I don't know what you'd say, like decorate this basket a little bit for fall. And I just love using large baskets as like storage holders, especially if you don't have a lot of space in your home or apartment like Marshall and I. So I'm keeping all the gaming stuff in here and then just trying to put like a throw blanket on top of the basket in like a messy but cute way. And for some reason, it's so hard for me to like get just right some days. Sometimes I can literally plop the blanket on top and it'll look perfect. And other days I'm like, oh my God, this looks terrible. And today was one of those days where I was just not feeling it, but I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'll fix it when I do like my fall clean and decorate because I can imagine I'll switch things out a little bit and I'm probably gonna be adding some pumpkins and other stuff to this space. Baby, baby, go blind. What am I hearing? Saying you're moving back. When were you gonna tell me so this actually turned out a lot cuter than I thought, especially after I got the pillows on it. Um, but yeah, this is what that looks like. And then in case you guys are curious, here's what I did to the other side. I had the two orange pillows in that basket to start, but I switched those out a little bit. And now I'm just really quick gonna go around our entire apartment and wipe off all of our surfaces with the same apple cider, Mrs. Meyer spray. And while I do that, I am curious to know if any of you guys can recognize the movie that I have playing in the background. <laughs> Please let me know down below in the comments if you guys know what it is. Tell me now if you want out. What are you saying? Come 
I seriously cannot tell you guys enough how much Marshall and I are looking forward to our new couch. I have literally no patience, so waiting for something like this is really testing me. I also think part of it is actually because it's new, we picked it out and we just love it. And there's nothing wrong with our red couches. They are super comfy and we got them for free and they definitely served their purpose, but they are also just not like our style and we are more than ready for something new. And I also feel like I'm running out of patience because I thought they would be here by now and they're not. So hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that they are actually in by mid-September. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned this yet or not, but we actually purchased our couch from Home Furniture. So if any of you guys have happened to order from home recently, please let me know in the comments how long it actually took to get your stuff in. If you've been following me for a while now, then you know this lovely brown desk is where I work during the week. Um, I do have a full-time job and we have not gone back to work yet. We, I don't even know if we have a set date of when we're going back. So it's not in the near future. I'm going to be here for a while, but I do really need to get a better desk. They are kind of expensive and I just haven't found one I love yet. And we're also just trying to wait until our couch gets in to see how much like extra room we have on the side. But as you can see, it really needs to be cleaned off. And <laughs> some of you will probably cringe at what I'm going to do here, but Yes, I'm moving all of this paperwork and non-related work stuff into this white basket, well, mainly because I have no clue where I want to put this stuff yet, and I don't just want to cram it somewhere and forget about it, and I actually want to like take my time to go through it and figure out where it needs to go. We actually have a few small baskets or like bags started already, so I want to tackle them all at once, and that's why I'm kind of holding off. But now that I've talked our way pretty much through that entire process, I'm just going to quickly vacuum up the rest of the living room and then move on to the next task. So I did go ahead and wash our sheets and also our mattress cover and I'm going to go ahead and get our bed made. This is actually a very small hint as to what the bonus video on Monday will be. So if you guys are curious, remember to hit that subscribe button and have your bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on that video. Also, I really quick just want to apologize for these next few clips. They are a little blurry from me like walking by the camera and it's trying to focus, but hang tight. I promise it gets better really soon. So I'm really curious to know if any of you guys have tried the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew yet. Marshall actually surprised me yesterday, or I guess she, I don't know when you're watching this, but he surprised me on Friday and he ordered me my first one of the season and it was so good. I really enjoyed it and now that's all I can think about. That's all I want every single day is a pumpkin cream cold brew, but I'm really curious. Do you guys love that kind of stuff or are you just not a fan of the pumpkin drinks? I can honestly say there was a time when I was in that category, but now I am all for it.
Marshall and I have a lot of laundry to get through this weekend, but luckily right now we only have one load to fold. So I'm really quick just gonna catch up on some YouTube videos while I sit down here and get it folded and then put away. The last task for this relaxing all day clean with me is to vacuum. And I really hope you all got some extreme cleaning motivation out of today's video. I have been sharing a lot of the entire apartment clean with me's lately because you guys really seem to be loving them and it makes me so happy. But if you guys have any video requests, please let me know down below in the comments. I would also love it if you guys would give this video a thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button. I have a lot of fun videos coming out this next week, especially my fall clean and decorate with me on Wednesday, and I don't want you guys to miss out. But thanks again so much for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, and I cannot wait to see you all back here on Monday for some more extreme cleaning motivation. Bye!